Hi guys, so another season review. Uh, we're uh, we're at actually the Mets, so basically there's only two more teams left, and then and then it's the uh, the team in the World Series. So uh, we're we're actually doing very well after the World Series. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing a history uh, kind of videos um, of all the seasons, maybe or something like that. But uh, yeah, so let's get into it. Um, they finished the season with 89 wins, 73 losses. That is third place in the NL East. Uh, just beyond the Braves and the Phillies. Um, at home, 46. Uh, so basically in 2023, they finished the season with 75-87. They didn't make the playoff. That's a plus 14 wins. So that that is right there a win for the Mets. At home, 46 wins, 35 loss. 382 runs scored to 334 run against. On the road, they played very well. 43 wins, 38 loss. 386 run score the 363 run against so in the playoff they played the wild card uh against the burrows they won that series two to one so very tight series there uh game one was eight to four mets uh game two the uh, the brewers uh beat the mets five to three and then the game three the mets beat uh, to uh, beat four two to eliminate the brewers then they go to the ALDS and they win the series three games to one against the Phillies. Game one was six to two for the Mets. Game two was seven to six for the Phillies. Very close game. Game three, seven to two for the Mets. And then game four, four to one for the Mets to eliminate the Phillies. Um, ALCS lost four two to the Dodgers. Um, their, their run, this Cinderella run, finished with the Dodgers. Game one, nine to zero Dodgers. Game two, seven to three Mets. So they try to come back, but game three, eight to nothing Dodgers. Game four, ten to two Dodgers. Game five, twelve to six Mets. But game six, twelve to five Dodgers. Dodgers are a little bit too strong for the Mets, but I I like the way where they're going. The Mets, they're they're going just up. So that's really good. March and April, uh, fifteen wins, fourteen loss. They had a really rough May. With a 9 wins, 19 loss. June, 16 wins, 8 loss. July, 17 wins, 10 loss. August, 15 wins, 13 loss. And then September, 17 wins, 9 loss. So really a rough start of the season, but they uh, came back. So against their division, uh, 6 and 7 versus the Braves. Uh, 58 run score to 62 run against. Against the Phillies, 6 wins, 7 loss. 59 runs scored to 69 run against. Doesn't really matter because they beat them in the playoffs. So uh, they got their revenge there. National, 11 wins, 2 loss. 86 runs scored to 37 run against. And against the Marlins, 7 wins, 6 loss. 57 runs scored to 51 run against. So against the division, they're 30 wins, 22 loss. So really good record against their division. Um, worst against other team, against the Guardians, Mariners, and Rays, 0-3. Against the Dodgers, two and four. Against the Brewers, one and five. And then against the Giants, two and four. Best against other team against the Red Sox, three and zero. Oh. White Sox, three and zero. Oh. Against the Yankees, four and zero. Oh. Uh, against the Cardinals, four and two. Against the Reds and Rockies, four and two. And then against the Pirates and Padres, five and two. Uh, top two starting pitcher Sean Manea had a good year, twelve and six record, three point four seven ERA. With 184 strikeouts, Luis Severino, Luis Severino, 11 and 7 record, 3.91 ERA with 161 strikeouts. So wins, 89 wins as a team is fifth in the National League. ERA of 3.96, that is seven in the National League. 39 save, that is eight in the National League. Strikeout 1455, that is actually second in the National League. So really great numbers there. Top two batters, Francisco Lendor had a good year, 107 runs, 169 hits, 33 home runs, 91 RBI. Then Pete Alonso, 91 runs, 146 hits, 34 home runs, and 88 RBI. As a team, uh, they had seven, 768 runs, that is fifth in the National League. Hits of 1,357, that is 7th in the National League. Home run, 207, that is 4th in the National League. Stolen base, 106, is 10th in the National League. So really great number, maybe the stolen base, but uh, I don't want to be nitpicking too much. So 
the only thing that uh, I'll be nitpicking is having a better start of the season because their May was 9 wins, 19 loss. But that's pretty much it. I think they had a really great season and great playoff. They really uh, had a great season. I think the, the fans are happy with this. Uh, I think all the numbers are really great. Um, you can nitpick a, f a few things, but I think they, all around the Mets had a uh, uh, amazing season. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this. Like and subscribe. Thank you for all your support. And I'll see you soon with more videos. See you guys.